everybody, this is Leah again. Um, today I'm going to be walking you through a collab notebook. So here we are in our, this is a, just a big list of um, machine learning visual art collabs um, and some other collabs as well that Derek and I have compiled. At the bottom, there's some text models, some audio models. Um, let's say I want to check out this one for separating musics. Um, so I'm going to click here, click DMUX. This will link directly to the Colab notebook. And let's open it up and see. Loading, loading. So here is the Colab notebook, DMUX. DMUX is a, musical, is a music source separation model from Facebook. Provide a song and it will separate the track into individual files containing drums, bass, vocals, and other. And then there's a link to the GitHub repo. So let's click through, like, figure out what this model is. Music source separation in the waveform domain. Uh, they're providing an implementation of these two models for this particular data set. This data set um, is, uh, if I click through that, figure out, like, what this was actually trained on or what the, they're actually, the task at hand is. Um, so it looks like they're given a musical track and then each of those musical tracks is split into vocals, drums, bass, and other, including like piano, violin, sax. Um, and essentially what this model is supposed to do is given one track, be able to separate it into its individual components of the categories vocals, drums, bass, and other. So yeah, important to know what the model is actually supposed to do. Um, yeah, so it will only take the track and then separate it into these four categories. That's an important caveat. Um, earlier today, I input something in an orchestral piece that was mostly strings. And so obviously, pretty much the entire track was just put into other. And because there was no drums, no bass, and no vocals. So keep that in mind when using this. Um, but yeah, this is mainly supposed to be a demo of how to use Colab. So here we are in Colab. We've opened up this notebook that we want to explore. This first cell, we can run it. Run anyway. This little exclamation point means that um, this is a command line argument, so this might be something you type directly into terminal. We should also double check that our run time is on GPU. GPU, there we go. Um, I'll have to go through this CAPTCHA. So this is mainly installing these libraries, these Python libraries, for this particular notebook. This command here, git clone. This is cloning their GitHub repo, which is over here. It's going to take this entire repo and install it, download it, put it right here. Let's clone it. There we go. Here it is in our file browser. CD DMUX. And this has a little percentage sign. And that percentage sign will just describe any kind of file navigation within the file system. So this is taking us and moving us into this directory. So now we're in here. And this next cell, python-m, this is running, looks like this is running the actual pre-trained model on this web file, this web file right here. We look here and we see that we don't have that web file, so I assume that I need to upload my own audio file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Earlier today, I picked out this short little section from an FKJ song. Um, I'll play it for you guys so you can see how the model performs on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and upload that one. Okay, so here you can see uploading. Um, and then when that's done, we can switch out this path to the correct path to point to our uploaded audio file. So here it is. I'm going to go here and click copy path and replace this path here with the path I want. And so with, um, with any of these commands, 
in Colab that have this exclamation point in front. Um, these are things that will uh, run in the command line, so you'll need to actually go through and make sure that the arguments are correct and the paths are correct, um, pointing to the files that you want. Let's go ahead and run this. This will take a, a little bit of a while. First, it downloads their pre-trained model. And then, yeah, the model is 44 megabytes. Looks like it's done with that. And now it is going ahead and running that model on our short little clip, our short little audio clip. And it says that the separated clips, the separated tracks will be stored in this path. So let's go there and see. So we're in content, demux, demux, separated. Let's refresh this because we don't see it there. There it goes. Um, separated, tasnet extra, fkj cut. Here are our files. Let's go ahead and download this with Colab. In this file browser, it's a little troublesome in that you can only download individual files. So what you do need to do is you need to go ahead and zip. If you want to download a bunch of files or download a directory, you have to zip that first. And then you can just download that entire zipped file uh, as one file. So this is the command to zip a particular folder. Here the folder we want is called folder we want to zip is called FKJ cut is the path to it. And let's call our zipped our zip file FKJ cut. And let's go ahead and zip this. And there it is. Let's click this. Download. And there it goes. When the orange bar is fully filled, then we will have downloaded the zip file. There. Um, we can unzip that. We'll have to go through, open all of these up. Here are our files. So we can go ahead and listen to some of them. In DaVinci Resolve, which is this video editor that allows me to see these waveforms of the audio files. This first line are the drums, other, bass, and the vocals. So we can separate them out and listen to them individually. Let's go ahead and do that. Here are just the vocals. Walking out the way of feeling washed done. It's so good, it's so bad, it's so bad, it's so new. Yep, so pretty good. Let's go ahead and listen to other, which should just be this wavy electronic thing, because it's neither vocals, nor bass, nor drums. We can also listen to just the drums. And there's not much in the bass, that was just mostly... You can hear that's kind of just static -y noise. So if we go ahead and put them all together, we should get our original track. Let's listen to it first without any vocals. This should be the instrumental. And we can add back in our vocals and it should sound like our original track. It's so good, it's so bad, it's so bad, it's so Nice. Yeah, and so that concludes it for this demo of Demux. Derek and I will be posting more videos on Colab Demo, so stay tuned. And yeah, feel free to ask a question in the comments or in our Artificial Images Slack. Thank you.